My name is Mark Humphreys with Lincoln Electric Cutting Systems and today we want to walk you through the process of installing a Torchmate 4800. The process will be nearly identical for the 4400 as well. Before receiving your machine, make sure that you prepare your site for the install. This includes supplying adequate power, compressed air, proper grounding, and ventilation. You'll also need a forklift to offload and place your machine, as well as a licensed electrician to wire the plug to the back of the plasma cutter and ensure proper grounding of the machine. We're now ready to begin removing the shoes that attach the table to the top of our pallet and the gantry locks that secure the gantry to the top of our table. We're now ready to remove the Fluxca 80 from the pallet and also use a forklift to offload the table and place it into position. Now that we have our table in position, we can make all of the different connections. Now, before you supply your compressed air, make sure that you've purchased a 5 micron air filter with a high pressure regulator, just like this one. Now we can turn everything on and begin filling the table full of water. And now that we're almost ready for our first cut, it's a good idea to level the machine to make sure that every corner of the machine is level with the other. Before performing your first test cut on the machine, make sure that you register your visual machine designer software by emailing support at torchmate.com. They'll respond within one business day with your unlock code and your registration ID. 60 amp consumables are already installed in the torch tip, however, you can choose a different set of consumables from the consumable starter kit that correspond to the thickness of material that you'll be doing your first test cut on. Datum the machine, program your cutting parameters for that thickness of material and your operating amperage into the job setup menu. Set your program zero on your material, select your job, and now you're ready to run your file.